chickies. So today is Chicky Chit Chat number two. You guys have been requesting another Chicky Chit Chat so badly. You guys gave me such great feedback on the last one. You wanted a new one so badly, and here I am with you guys for one today. So basically, today's Chicky Chit Chat is all about periods. So today I'm going to be talking about different types of things you use on your period. I'm going to be talking about when you first develop it, signs of your period. So I want to hop right into the video and let's get started. Alright, so first I'm going to start off by telling you mainly the age group that you'll get your period around. Mainly it's for girls around ages 12 to 13 to 14. You might get your period around there. That's the average. But if you're an early bloomer, you might get it as early as 8, 9, or 10. And if you're a late bloomer, then you might get it as late as 14 or 15. Which is completely fine. I got mine, I believe, when I was 13. Yeah, I got mine when I was 13. I got my period in seventh grade, and I got it at the beginning of the year, and what really sucked for me, though, is that I got mine in the middle of gym class, but it really didn't matter because gym class, at the time, I had it, like, at the very, very end of the day, I had gym, so that was really good for me, which means, like, I was only gonna last through it a little bit, and then I got to go home and stuff like that, but although I did have my period for the first time during my gym class, no, it did not leak through my shorts. If it did, then I was a, then I was wearing black shorts anyway, Sorry, I stuttered my words. But even then, I knew that I kind of felt like signs that my period was coming and stuff like that, which we're going to be talking about some of the signs today, which is why I always kept some tampons and pads in my locker at the time. I didn't even know how the hell to use tampons, but I still kept them in there just in case I decided, you know what, I'm going to use one one day. So now we're going to talk about what actually is your period. Like, how do you get your period and stuff like that? What's the whole process that goes inside a female's body? What goes on in there that brings us to get our periods each month? So basically, every single month, your ovaries are going to release an egg, and then that egg is going to travel right down your fallopian tubes, and it's going to bring it into the uterus. Basically, what's going to go on is that egg is going to travel right down your uterus, and since it has a soft lining in it of the blood and tissue, which is your period, once it travels down, it is going to shed the sides of that since you're not going to be needing it because you're not fertile. And then basically, that lining is going to come out of your vagina into your panties, and there you go. That's your period. Alright, so now we're going to be talking about the signs that you are going to be getting your period for the first time because I know a lot of my viewers are much younger and this was a commonly asked question also that you guys were asking me to answer is what are the signs of getting your period? So I wrote down four main signs on my phone so I'm just going to read them off to you. So the first sign is that your boobs start to feel very tender, they start to hurt a little bit and that is completely normal. That just means you're growing and you're probably going to be getting your period sometime soon. It's a very good sign that you're growing up in your period it's going to be coming and it's 100% normal if your boobs hurt and stuff like that during growth because that means they're just growing and normally when they grow they do hurt they get a little bit of soreness but that's okay it only lasts for like a day or two you're going to begin some boobies next one is hair growth but yeah basically you're going to start growing some hair down there you're going to start growing some hair right here it's going to start to get noticeable and obviously you can either keep it if that's your thing but for me it's really not I just shave it all off but the next one is acne or pimples when you start to get pimples on your face or you start to get acne that's a clear sign that you are growing up and you might be getting your period soon and the last sign that you're going to be getting your period soon is the 100% most obvious sign and that is is discharge. Alright, so basically what discharge is, it's this gel-like substance. It could be more liquidy, it could be more gel-like, it depends on who you are, but basically it's going to be either clear, white, or like a yellowy white. It is just a clear, clear sign that you're going to be getting your period soon, and usually when you start to get discharge, it means that your period is going to be coming in about six months to a year. So now we're going to talk about some more general things in the period topic. So basically your period could last anywhere from three to seven days each month. Mine usually lasts about five or six days, so luckily mine doesn't last the full week, which I am blessed for. Most of you know that when you get your period, you're going to get your period once a month. It's going to be for three to seven days and all that stuff. But when you're first starting off your period, trust me, your cycle is going to be very, very off. So basically you get your period at the beginning of the month, one month, and you get it at the end and then you get at the middle another month like all that stuff so that's basically that and then after like a full year of actually uh, having your period and your body getting used to it then you will learn your body's functions and stuff like that and it will tell you 
when you are going to get your period. Also, I recommend asking your mom, number one, when she got her period, and number two, when she does get her period. What I mean by that is ask her when she got her period, as in, was it like high school, middle school, did she remember what grade and stuff like that, because then eventually you're probably going to get her around about the same time. Not saying that you definitely will, you may and you may not. For me, I actually did, because I remember my mom saying that she got hers mainly in middle school, and that's when I got it. I got it the second year in middle school, which is 6th, 7th, 8th grade, I got it right in 7th grade. Also, me and my mom both get our periods at the same time. We both get them at the end of the month, so that's that. Also, there are many, many apps on the App Store if you have an iPhone or an Android or an iPod or an iPad or anything like that, and there's a bunch of apps on them for periods and period tracking and stuff like that. I actually have one on my iPad, not my phone, but my iPad's dead. I wish I could show it to you, but I can't. But trust me, if you just search up period count, or a period diary, anything like that in the app store, there are going to be millions of results to choose from. Also, when you're on your period, you may be very moody, you may have cramps, you may have just plain old stomach pains, and you may have a candy craving, which for me, whenever I'm on my period, I always crave Nutella. I actually crave Nutella daily, but still. I crave it more when I'm on my period. But yeah, so basically, you know, on your period, if you want to load up a candy, then go ahead and eat some candy. I mean, why not? When you're getting cramps, you can always use a heating pad. The heating pad will definitely help you soothe the cramps and even if you have some stomach pains and stuff like that. Personally, for me, they work a little bit, but what I mainly like to take is some period pills. So these I definitely recommend going out and getting. They helped me so many times. All my friends when they're on their period, I bring these to school with me and they'll be on their period and they'll have stomach pains or cramps and then I give them one of these and they are set on their way and they're all screaming love and joy again. These are Midol Teen pills and you could get regular Midol or you could get Midol Teen. For me, I have the Midol Teen. Basically, these pills are going to help you if you have some bloating, if you have cramps, if you have a backache. It's going to help you with all of that. All right, guys, so basically this is what the pill looks like. It's just like a little white pill, nothing really to worry about. Uh, that's basically what it looks like. And if you guys are not good at swallowing pills with water, then this probably isn't the thing for you. I am very easy when it comes to the things. It's like one, two, three, and I get it done. But maybe you could go for a chewable if you guys aren't good at swallowing pills. Okay, so now we are going to talk about all the different types of things that you could use when you're on your period. All right, so the first thing is obviously the main thing is you could use a pad. So basically for these when you open them up you just open it up and it looks like this some of them come with wings some of them don't like for example this one has wings on it which means you take this little plastic thing off and these wrap around your underwear and it just keeps the pad in place better some of them come with the wings some of them don't it really depends on what you prefer also there are many different types of pads for me these ones are the ultra thin active and these are for regular flow they say right on the thing thereby always they are the always fresh ultra thin active and I have like the whole like thingy so I'm going to hold it like this but basically there they are the always fresh and it comes in 96 in a pack so these left a very 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 long time and these are for a regular flow you can get ones for heavier flows you can get one for lighter flows it really depends just I would mainly go out to the store with maybe a family member or a friend and just choose what you like best preferably a girl please don't go with a guy that'd be really awkward and they do not know what they're talking about okay so the next thing is for discharge that I was talking about before if you don't feel like getting the discharge in your underwear because it is very annoying sometimes then you could of course use panty liners so panty liners are basically pads but there are these extremely extremely thin ones that catch discharge these you cannot use on your period unless you have the lightest flow in the world because then they will not soak anything up they look like this they are extremely extremely thin if I take it out of the wrapper as you guys could see and they are small as you can see also I'm gonna stick it on my arm there we go let's put it on the wall don't you wish that you could be a fly on the wall? So basically, as you guys can see, these are pretty small. They are form-fitted to your underwear, and they just catch discharge. These are the Carefree Acti Fresh Body Shape, and these are the regular panty liners. Alright, next is another obvious one, of course, and these are 
tampons. Now, I prefer tampons over pads so much more because I feel like it's more hygienic, I feel like it's more clean, and oh my god, all the boxes are falling. Also guys, with pads, you should change your pad about every maybe two to three hours with tampons, changers like every two to three hours as well. It really depends on which pad and which tampon you get because some absorb, um, not absorb, my bad. Some absorb more I almost said water, more period blood than other ones do. So if you are starting off with tampons, I definitely recommend this one. And these tampons are the light ones, and they just look like this, and actually this is in the wrapper, I should probably take it out. Now for tampons, there are many different types. Some of them just have the regular one where it's the push. That's mainly how the normal ones are where you just push it and it comes out. Some of them come with plastic. Some of them are the, like this cardboard type of material. And some of them even come in like this little plastic wrap. And what you do is you peel the plastic wrap off and it's like an environmentally friendly one actually and you just take the tampon, you put it into, you put it near your vagina, you spread your legs, you know, the usual. And then, <laughs> Usual. Then you're actually supposed to take it and push it in with your finger and then that's how it stays in it. I don't know, I would never be able to do that. For me, I feel like tampons are better because you just slip it right in there and you push and it's going to come right out and this is going to stay into your vagina and this is going to hang outside so when you are done and you know your tampon absorbed and it's expanded and all that stuff, you just pull it out and yeah. But yeah, that's that. If you're just starting off with tampons, then I definitely recommend these because these are really good starter ones. And also, of course, you use those ones on your lighter flows. Those ones that I just showed you are the Tampax Pearl Active. And they look like this if you guys are interested, if you want to get them. These are the ones that I recommend. These are the ones I swear by. The other type of tampon is a regular flow. You can also get a heavier flow, but as for me in my house, I never really get major, major heavy flows, so we only have regular and light. Here we go. This is what a regular looks like. It's the same brand. It's Tampax. These ones are the Tampax Pearl, just the regular ones. You know, you feel. But if you open this, then you're gonna get the same exact thing, except this one is bigger. That's the same exact thing. You go right up and you just push it out, and that's going to go in your vagina. This is going to hang out, and then, of course, I'm just gonna spread it, you know, it's gonna absorb, and then you just pull it out. Now, inserting a tampon is a little bit difficult at first, but then you're going to get the gist of it, and it's going to be extremely easy for you. Now we're going to be talking about getting prepared. I don't mean getting prepared to go out with another your friends or something like that. I mean prepared as in packing a little baggy thingy, my bob, with some tampons and stuff like that in it. So basically, I got this little adorable watermelon bag from Rob Wee, if you guys were wondering. And for me, I probably would not use this bag. Actually, I have this black one that I keep in my locker and I always bring them me everywhere. It has everything in it, not only period stuff, but it has literally everything. For me, I would not use this one because as you guys can see, it is transparent. And I'm pretty sure you don't want your period stuff just like sticking out there like, hey guys, I'm on my period. But I'm going to be using this as an example because I got this today from them and I am like utterly and completely obsessed with it. So basically, I feel like you should always keep a little bag full of some tampons, some pads, and some panty liners right in your locker. Keep it in your bag, your backpack, wherever you go. Personally, for me, I would put two normal pads right in there. I would keep four of the light tampons because I mainly use the light tampons over the regular ones because I never really have a flow where I really need to use the regular ones. Even though I don't use the regular ones as much, I'm still going to keep two of them in my bag just in case because usually my friends ask me for tampons too, so you know. And then I keep like three panty liners in there and basically you just zip that up and there you go. Period pack. Perfect. So now, I did not even look at the comments on the Instagram post that I put up, but we are going to look at the comments now and I'm going to answer some questions. So the first question is, what is more comfortable for sports? Honestly, for sports though, I would definitely prefer tampons because tampons, you can move around a lot and it's not going to be like bagged up down there, not bagged up, what I mean, like crumbling and stuff like that. As I'm reading these comments, I realized that I already answered a lot of these questions in this video. But one that I did not answer, which is a very commonly asked question, is can you go swimming with your period? Yes, you could go swimming with your period. However, you have to wear a tampon. If you wear a pad, obviously, not gonna happen. It's gonna float out of the water and stuff like that. And if you don't wear one, then your period is probably gonna go in the pool and no. 
So if you go in the pool, then you're gonna have to wear a tampon. Okay, so that was a fail. I only answered two questions out of all the questions on this post, but I realized that most of the questions on this post I already answered, so that's actually pretty good. Alright, chickies, I hope you guys enjoyed this chicky chit chat, though. I hope it was very informative and it helped a lot of you. I'm going to go now, though, and I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for 17,000 subscribers. Bye-bye, chickies. Mwah!